these are some terms which are found in tablets and sometimes not very clear what is meant by them. Check of rupees 500 has not been presented for payment. <clears throat> the check of rupees 500 has not been presented for payment indicates that a check has been issued but not been presented for payment. So this is a case of check issue. A check of rupees 500 has not been cleared would normally indicate that a check has been deposited but it has not been cleared. <clears throat> Checks sent for collection would also could be an instance of purpose. Uncollected checks again would mean the same thing. The checks have been deposited but have not yet been collected. <clears throat> Let us now consider a few problems. <clears throat> Debit balance as per cash book of KBC Enterprises as on 31st March is 1500. This is a debit balance as per the cash book. What we need to do is finally to find out the balance as per we need to find the balance as per the cash book. So the debit balance as per cash book is a favorable balance of 1500. Checks have been deposited but not cleared. So checks are deposited, the cash book balance is up, past book is low. It started from the cash book, therefore we will deduct. So we deduct an amount of 100. Checks issued but not presented amounts to 150. When checks are issued, the cash book balance is down, past book is up. From the cash book to go, we will add 150. The bank allowed interest amounting to rupees 50 and collected dividend of rupees 50 on behalf of ABC Enterprises. So money has come in to the bank in the bank books, passbook balance up, cash book down, from cash book to passbook we will add. So we add 50 and 50, 100, and the balance as per passbook would therefore be 1,600. We began with a favorable balance, we have ended with a favorable value, and therefore our choice answer should be B, 160,000. <clears throat> the cash book showed an overdraft of rupees 1,500 and overdraft as per 1,500. <clears throat> This is as per cash book. We're starting from the cash book. But the passbook made up to the same date showed the checks of 100, 50, and 125. 100, 50, and 125. Amounting to 275. Checks have not been presented for pay. This means the checks have been issued, not presented for pay. <coughs> The checks were issued, cash book balance down, passed book up. We started from the cash book, so we will add. So we add 275 to minus 500, we know that we have to that it. And the check for rupees 400 has been paid into the account, but not been cleared. So 400 has come into the account, cash balance is up, but it's not actually been cleared. So not there in the past book, from cash book, to arrive at the past book, we will do that. <clears throat> the next effect would be this would indicate an overdraft of 1,600. The balance as per passbook would be an overdraft of 1,600. <clears throat> when overdraft as per cash book is the starting point, a check of rupees 500 deposited into the bank but not recorded in the cash book will be. Now, when the overdraft has the cash book, we said when a single item is being mentioned, if you start as per the overdraft, whatever you do as per, in case of a favorable balance, you would do the reverse in case of a <coughs> overdraft. 
So when there is an overdraft as per cash flow, a check of rupees 500 deposited into the bank account, not recorded into the cash flow. If we were starting with the cash flow, when check has been deposited, cash flow balance is up and pass to the side. Therefore, ordinarily, if we are starting from the cash flow, we go to the prospect, we would deduct. Since it is an overdraft, we will do the opposite and therefore we will add 500. <clears throat> if you want to think it logically from an overdraft point of view and not doing the reverse, if overdraft as per cash flow, when check is deposited, the overdraft is reduced. You are here, the passbook balance overdraft is, remains here. And therefore, we will add the other over the top. Amount is 500, no change in the amount. A credit balance of 2000 in the bank column of the cash book was carried forward as its debit balance. <coughs> A credit balance of 2000 in the bank column of the cash book was carried forward as its debit balance. So, not only has the credit balance not been carried forward as a credit balance, it has been carried forward as a debit balance. Therefore, there is a wrong debit and there is an omission of a credit. In total, there is a difference of 2000 and 2000, 4000. <coughs> now, when overdraft as per the passbook is the starting point. <coughs> The error is in the cash book and the debit is more. That means in the cash book, debits are higher or the balance is higher by not 2,000. If you start from the cash book, you arrive at the pass book, you will pay that. However, we are starting from the pass book. Therefore, from pass book to cash book, you would ordinarily add, since in it, it's an overdraft, you would deduct by 2000. Please note, in this case, the amount involved is not 2000, it is 4000. There is a credit balance of 2000 in the bank column of the cash book. It is carried forward as its debit balance. Now, firstly, the debit balance is being carried forward as a debit balance is wrong. The 2000 effect has to be cancelled. There is a mistake of 2000. Similarly, there was a credit balance of 2000 which is not being carried forward. Therefore, there is yet another mistake of a missing credit balance. You must understand that whenever there is a mistake, where a debit, instead of a debit, we do a credit, or instead of a credit, we do a debit, the effect is twofold, is double the amount. <coughs> when a credit balance of 2000 is omitted, which means the debit has actually gone up. Again, when you carry forward wrongly a debit balance, it has gone up one more notch with another 2000. Therefore, a total difference is of 2000. Please note that in this case, the amount to be deducted is 4000, double the amount of 2000. Whenever a debit, instead of a debit, we post it to the credit side, the effect is equal. Let us try to understand with a ledger account. Let us say, after certain transactions, we have a balance of 2000. So my balance brought down should have been. Now, this has been wrongly taken as a debit balance. So, what we have done now, we have said two balance brought down to thousand. <coughs> this is our mistake. We need to come to this position. Now, how do we reach here? To arrive at this balance of 2000, if we rectify we need to pass a rectification of 2000 to cancel this wrong debit. And again a rectification 
to give effect to the credit. As a result of this, 4,000 rectification, we now have a balance of 2,000. Credit balance of 2,000 as was required above. Therefore, when this mistake is posted like this, we need to pass these two entries of 4,000 in order to arrive back at the correct balance.